Another outreach endeavor which uh, we got involved in was to stand at the town gardens outside the city hall. You have to remember this is the days before TV. So Saturday night, every young fella took his girl, his sweetheart, to the cinema. Uh, we used to call them bug houses in those days, or the bioscope or something. And off they, and to get from the bus stops to the theatre land, you had to walk through the town gardens. So we had a moving, constant throng of people. And there would be about 10 or 12 of us standing there. And the fellow who was in control of that group was a British uh, major from the Indian Army. Uh, I can't remember his name, but anyway, he'll come to me. And he came to the idea that before you attack, you send out the artillery and you fire shots. So he had a system called gospel shots. And, uh, and God's word will not return to him void was one of his. He says, as long as you get the, gospel, the, the Bible word out, that'll work. So we all had to memorize one or two scriptures. And we'd stand, and say, half a dozen or a dozen guys in a line, and he'd stand at the end like the, the major that he was, and then he'd say, trench, fire. And you had to step forward and you'd just shout out a scripture. When I say shout out, you shouted loud. Something like uh, my scripture was, uh, either you must be born again or unless you repent, you know, and you shouted it out so it could reach as many people as possible. So you didn't speak, you just gave that scripture, then you stepped back and then he'd call the next one and he'd call another one. And one night that I remember very, very clearly, you have to remember that my contacts were not churchy people. They were boxers and cricketers and soccer players. And so I had three or four boxers standing next to me. And there were a couple of ladies that would come, some young girls, but they were never allowed to fire a shot or whatever it was. They just stood there. But this fellow obviously had a bit to drink, and he had a bow tie and a cigar. And what he did was he walked up to the first person, drew on his cigar, and then blew the smoke right in that person's face. And he went to the next one, and he did the same. And he went to the next one, and I knew there was going to be trouble. I could tell. And uh, the major's telling us, stand steady, lads, stand steady. And steady, that was never going to happen when they got to us, I could tell that. And the fellow right next to me is Jeff Pettit, who was uh, a middleweight boxer, so he was a very strong kind of character. And he took one puff of the cigar and he blew it, and Jeff just took the cigar right out of his hand, turned it round, put his hand behind his head, took the hot end of the cigar and shoved it up against his tonsil. And the fellow shook and so on. And that was that. We had no more trouble after that. And that was re preaching the gospel. And that was a hot gospel that guy got that night. We burned his tonsils once and he ran. And right below was the, uh, fortunately for him, right below was the uh, general public toilets. And I know that's where he made for. <laughs> he had to get some water to put the fire out, you know.